Hey everybody, welcome back to John's Firearms 705. Today I'm doing a little video on the SKS Bolt. We have two here today. This one here comes out of the 1950 Tula SKS. It has a spring inside. See it goes back all by itself. And we also have one out of a 1952 Tula SKS. And this has the free floating, no spring firing pin. And uh, if you want to avoid slam fire, you can push it out. See? It doesn't take much to retract. If your firing pin in your SKS has no spring and you don't hear this, you might want to clean it out. Okay, that being said, for today's uh, work, we're going to need a punch. We have one that's an eighth of an inch. Going to need a pair of vice grips and a hammer. And uh, I also have myself up this little block I made, just a few pieces of wood. You can... Uh, Go ahead and set your bolts right in there and just punch it out and there's a little cavity to catch it. So let's take a look at these two bolts. What's the differences? Well, like I said earlier, uh, into the late 50s, early 1951s, they were still putting uh, springs inside on the firing pin. I guess to save money or whatever the reason was, uh, into 51 and 52 and on, they... Uh, Came out without the spring now there's also some differences they're not interchangeable the firing pins and springs if you look on the one side here let's take a look at our extractors here one i could pop out right away there's nothing holding it in and the pin to relieve the uh the firing pin and the spring is up top the newer one 1952 and on maybe some 1951 models the pin actually at the end is not round it has this kind of weird shape and what that does it kind of locks your extractor in there so this cannot come off without taking the pin out and if you notice the pin is a lot further forward in the bolt housing so let's go ahead and take uh, this one apart here like I said all you gotta do on this one the old one is just push your extractor down and backwards towards you just like that it comes out get yourself a little spring up in there It just pops out just like that. Now on the other one, I mean, you can try and take it out, but you can't push it backwards because of that stopper. So we'll get back to the newer style bolt after. Now we're going to take the older style one. Now, if you look at this one, on the side on the other one where it has the weird square shape, the pin is larger. On the rear side or the left side of the bolt, the pin is smaller. Now I'm going to put this in my little holder here. Take my one eighth punch, my little hammer, and knock that pin out. Okay. So now the pin's out, my punch in there. I'm just gonna hold the back of this while I take my punch out. There's a firing pin. a spring and it just sits up on there like this and this little notch in the firing pin on the older style is of course where the pin runs across to keep the firing pin locked inside the housing so that's it for the first one you got your extractor with the spring got your firing pin with the spring and then you just got your housing pretty straightforward now, uh, when I give this a good cleaning, because I do use a lot of corrosive ammo, I always, always run uh, like a pipe cleaner up there. I run some Q-tips up this end as far as they go. And when I reassemble, I, no oil, nothing, nothing inside the pin. Let them free float or then with the spring, it's, it's good to go. Uh, but I just find you put any oil in there, any lubricant, it doesn't need it. If As long as it's clean, there's no crud in there, it'll work fine. Once you add oil, it, uh, it's going to accumulate dust and have stuff stick in there, and it's, you're going to have to clean it more often. Okay, so we'll put that first one aside. We'll take a look at the new, newer style one here. Like I say, it's pretty obvious you can't punch it out that way because that's a big head. So we come to the other side. Now, I believe you could use a 532nd punch, but I'm just going to use my uh, 1 8 that's close enough. Retrieve oh, my. Uh, There's the firing pin 
a caning pin from the older one there. We'll just set that aside. Put this guy in. Grab our punch. So yeah, you can see the pin on this one. It's got that uh, different end, so there's actually no mistaking how that one goes in. Whereas the one on the older one, you just have to pay attention. The one end of the pin has a bit of a raised section. The other end is narrow, so of course it goes in narrow in first. Okay, so now that we got that uh, pin out, the firing pin and the extractor retainer, we can go ahead and just push this backwards and out. That pull it up. There's your spring. Now I always like to clean up in here too with the corrosive. If not, I mean your spring can get pretty uh, nasty, so I always give it a good clean, and I do put a little bit of oil up in there just to protect the spring. Okay, so there you go. We can just pull our firing pin out here. Yeah, no spring, no nothing. Now there's the firing pin. Okay, let's take a look at the differences here. Take a look, the one that has a spring, it has a little shoulder there. Of course, the one with no spring, there's no shoulder, and it's actually quite a bit wider. Let me see if I can hold it here for you. Okay, now the free floating one, if you look at the end, it's actually quite a bit wider. The one with the spring, it's uh, quite narrow all the way, so. I mean, I guess overall the newer style might hold up a little better. I look a little further down the pin, and you can see the differences where the retaining pin goes in. The new groove on the older or the newer style one is uh, a lot further forward, and the older style one, the spring, the notch is further back. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, the back doesn't really matter; it just uh, goes through the holes. Now, can we put the older style one in the newer firing pin? Nope. Won't even get in there. Now they may, uh, as I understand, make an aftermarket pin that has the notch in the right place and it will fit in here that has the spring kit. What about the newer style pin? Will it fit in the older style housing? It will, but not all the way. So they're not interchangeable on these uh, particular two models. So that being said, that's the, uh, the two bolt uh, disassemblies of one with the spring and one without. I will go ahead with the reassembly. Uh, let's start with the newer style one here. We're going to insert our firing pin. Keep in mind that notch needs to be up and usually on the side here there's two flat spots if you just hold that and push it in. should be able to go in as far as it'll go. Okay. Now we're going to take our extractor and put that in place before we put in the pin because the pin on this one does also retain our extractor. So let's go ahead and put that pin in. You just want to make sure it's kind of, you know, lined up with the extractor there. Double check the orientation. Okay, yep, we're good. Should be able to just kind of push it through. Okay, and at this point, what I like to do is I'll take a pair of vice grips. I open it up to exact size of where it is and just tighten it slightly. Okay. And we use that to just press it in slowly. Tighten it up a little bit more. Now you don't want to be rough with this because you don't want to mar up your bolt. Okay, there we go. Just like that, she's back together. Give it a check, yep, you can hear the pin moving. 
Okay, we'll move on to the spring-loaded one. I'm gonna grab our firing pin, grab our spring, put it in there. Keeping in mind the orientation groove being up, of course. Okay, now this one will back out, of course, because of the spring. So that's okay, we'll set it aside. We'll grab our pin, keeping in mind the rimmed end you're gonna hold on to. Press it in on the side with the extractor and get it started. Okay, now with that set up like this, we're just gonna push in our firing pin. Push in our retaining pin. And now if you look, this will not come out. It's already engaged in there. So at this point again, I'm just gonna grab our vice grips. Open it up to basically the same size, just close it a little bit. And squeeze in the firing pin, and press in the retaining pin. There. So there we go, we got it in, got the pin in there. Good to go. Grab our extractor. Just kind of set the spring up in there. Kind of like that. And then just press it up and into place. And there's a little shoulder here that'll lock in. Just like that. There you go. This one's good to go. Now, of course, one thing I will suggest too is when you do have out your extractor, you know, always give uh, the inside right in here. Give that shoulder an exam and make sure there's no pieces missing. Uh, I have seen some where they've chipped off and whatever, but uh, so far I've been lucky. It's always good to examine them. Remember, give a cleaning up inside here. Check that spring. Okay, there we go, guys. Different bolts, one with a spring, one without on the SKS. Uh, disassembly, reassembly. Yeah, so that's all the video for today. Have fun, peace out. We'll see you at the range.